Initially, it was known as PAKFA, an acronym in Russian that would mean Future Frontline Aviation System. The Sukhoi Su-57 is scheduled to be the successor in the Russian Air Force to the Su-27 and MiG-29 fighters. But being the first aircraft with stealth technology from that country, inheriting the super maneuverability and advanced avionics from the previous Sukhoi models. Initially, it was known under the code of Project T-50. This aircraft made its first flight in January 2010 and about 10 test aircraft were built, some of which were apparently put into real combat evaluation in February 2018 in the Syrian conflict. Welcome to a new Aeropedia of Aviation World video. In the late 1990s, the Soviet Union saw the need for a fifth-generation aircraft, which would eventually replace the supersonic heavy fighter Su-27 and its derivatives such as the Su-30, Su-33 and Su-35 and the medium-weight MiG-29 fighter which are fourth generation. The idea was to have a frontline fighter aircraft for air supremacy missions specialized in high-altitude air-to-air combat and stealth design. It is the first joint project for the construction of a new fighter from the merger of the aeronautical companies Mikoyan and Suhoi that make up the new Suhoi Experimental Design Bureau Technology Company Consortium. Previously, two projects had been proposed for its research and development. The Suhoi Su-47, of which we already have a video on the channel, and the MiG-1.44, and from these the T-50 inherited much experimental technology. By 2002, the Sukhoi company was chosen as the main designer of the new fifth-generation combat aircraft. Its construction began in the year 2008, although they tried to make it fly for the first time a year later. Due to some delays, it made its first test flight in January of 2010. The first flight model has made a total of 36 departures. A second prototype had its first flight in March of 2011, showing the expected performance in all phases of the planned flight program. Some of its technologies and features, such as propulsion and avionics, were implemented in the Suhoi Su-35S fighter, the latest evolution of the famous Su-27. It is a twin-engine stealth multi role design of fifth generation. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 35 tons and a range of 3,500 kilometers with internal fuel tanks. Its maximum speed is 2,120 kilometers per hour and it has 12 anchor points, six internal and six external, and as fixed armament, a 30 millimeter cannon. Thank you. Compared to previous generation fighter planes, this aircraft has a number of unique capabilities, including functions of a multi-purpose design attack and defense aircraft. It is equipped with completely new avionics, with the integration of an electronic pilot function, and with an advanced phased array ASA flat radar. This type of radar has phase antennas, 
whose transmitter and receiver element of the sent radar signal is composed of numerous independent modules installed on a flat surface. Each of these small modules emits its own energy gas at different frequencies, which reduces electromagnetic emission and also reduces the possibility of being detected. The Suhoi Su-57 features a gold-coated cockpit, just like the F-22 Raptor, through a process in which gold, indium and tin are added to the dome to prevent the emissions of the instruments to the outside and not be detected by enemy radars. The company NPO Saturn will be the company that manufactures the L-41 engines the same one that uses the SU-35S and being equipped with vector thrust capability. These engines have a layout that is more separated than in the Su-35 to leave more space for weapons under the central fuselage. It is assumed that production fighters from the mid-2020s will be equipped with a more powerful engine known as Isdelie. In the air intake of the engines, there are two leading edges that can move independently, simulating being two front canard-type ailerons that extend to the base of the main wings. In the horizontal position, they allow a better flow of air intake to the engines, and at times of takeoff and landing, they can move to improve the lift of the ship, like a tandem triple-wing plane. The Su-57 has two tandem internal weapon compartments, each about 4.6 meters, and two small triangular section weapon compartments protruding from the fuselage near the wing root. The internal transport of weapons preserves the stealth of the aircraft and significantly reduces aerodynamic resistance, thus preserving the kinematic performance compared to the aerodynamic performance of carrying external armament. Thank you. With the fuselage projected backwards, ending in a large, faceted central tail wheel between the engines, two rear radars are accommodated for defense. With the new helmet, the enemy's visual information will be detailed directly to the pilot's eyes, and it has a new integrated navigation system, information management and data encryption in addition to a global navigation satellite system, satellite navigation system. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. India and China were also once interested in participating in this technological project. In the end, only India would participate in several of the systems of the T-50 prototypes until it withdrew from the project in 2018 as it did not meet the expectations of this country and the cost that this program had.
On August 22, 2018, the Russian Ministry of Defense and Sukhoi signed the first contract for the delivery of two serially manufactured Su-57 fighters in 2020. A year later, it was announced that 76 units would be delivered to the Russian Air Force by 2028. There isn't much information, almost none, about the degree of radar invisibility of this aircraft. But we know that the latest planes from Mikoyan, Sukhoi and Tupolev use radar wave absorption materials that manage to partially hide the plane from enemy radar signals. a new video i hope you liked it if so hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet you can also leave me in the comment box the planes you would like to see in upcoming videos the most requested ones like this will gradually appear until the next installment of the world aviation aeropedia